Hey there, I'm Ray from the README team, and I'm excited to walk you through our enterprise authentication and access management experience. Let's start with the teammates page. Teammates refer to members of your team who manage, let's say, write or update documentation for your projects, and therefore may need access to the dashboard. That's what we're looking at right now for either your enterprise group or certain projects related to your enterprise group. In this top settings section, this is where you'll configure how teammates who you grant project or group access to will log in. If you choose to enable, Domain Safe List allows you to simplify the login process for members of your team by setting a domain and allowing anyone with an email address at that domain to create a README account. In this UI, this is where you'll configure SAML if you choose to use it for authentication. Your product experience manager can help with setting up SAML should you want support, and once configured, your URL details will appear here. You can also choose to enforce SSO, which ensures that anyone with teammates access will have to log in via SAML in order to access your README projects or enterprise group. And lastly, you can choose to have a default permission level for a new teammate access, which is great if you enable domain safe list. Now let's move down to this list of teammates. Managing projects and permission levels can be cumbersome, especially if you have lots of projects and lots of different team members. So we've designed this UI to make it easy to quickly get a snapshot of all projects within your enterprise group, who has access to them, and what type of permission level they have. Here you can filter by a user if you're trying to find someone specifically. You can filter by a permission level, or you can choose to filter by project and see who has invited access to that specific project. If we are to invite a teammate, we do so here. So let's say I want to invite myself to be a teammate. I can set my access to group viewer, group admin, or custom. I'll talk about these two very soon, but let's go through custom. So custom is where I can choose on a per project basis to grant particular access. I can either give no access to a certain child project, I can give them viewer privilege to this project, which means that they can only view the hub side or end user side of this private documentation, or I can grant them project admin status, which means that they are an administrator and they have dashboard access to this child project, but not to any other projects in the enterprise group. Here's where you can also configure uh, permission levels. So here, group admin refers to the highest level of privileges, meaning that they have access to the enterprise group dashboard, as well as all of the project dashboards for all of the child projects in your enterprise group. Group viewer means that they have access to all of the hub end user side of all your child projects, but they can't access the dashboard for any of them. And then custom we talked about. Moving on to end users. End users are individuals who consume your documentation. They'll only have HubSide access to your project's documentation. So for example, an end user would never be able to see this window we're looking at now. Here's where you'll set up how you invite end users to private documentation. So this is where you configure a login method, similar to what we looked at with teammates. If you choose README, this is for our password list login flow um, so that you, they can easily view your private documentation and you can customize this screen to look on brand. Here we have a README logo, but that's just because it's a README project, you can customize accordingly. And similarly, you can set a default access for invited end users. In this end user management page, this is where you can see a complete list of all end users that have access to private documentation across all of the projects within your enterprise group. You can manually invite a user Let's do me again. And you can either set all privileges to viewer. Of course, there's no admin privileges because they don't have dashboard access if they're an end user. Or you can choose no access and then choose to toggle on specific projects. Here you can also see what projects certain invited end users have access to. And lastly, this projects page serves as a centralized place where you can see and manage all of the child projects related to your enterprise group. In addition to being able to view the hub side of any of your projects, you can also set a project to public or private from this page, as well as reorder how your projects are listed here. 
you can head to the dashboard for a child project, or you can remove it from the group. Just to note, this is only a privilege for enterprise group admins, so you don't have to worry about anyone being able to come in and let's say removing a project from a group. We're excited for you to try out Readme's authentication and access management experience. As always, if you have questions or feedback, don't hesitate to reach out to your product experience manager or to support via intercom or support at readme.io. Thanks so much.